What is going on everyone and welcome back to another water hopping episode. Before we get into today's video, if you haven't already, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for me and maybe leave a like as well because I kind of think what you guys are about to see in this video might be something you guys enjoy. And if you are interested in this DIY stuff, definitely subscribe because there's a lot more stuff like that that I've done in my past and I plan on doing in the future as well as getting ready for this exciting fishing season we have ahead and I'm just super excited to take out the yak again and pretty much once you see this yard being green that's when this thing's gonna be on the water we're a couple weeks out still can't wait today's video is about the a very very long overdue video and that is my DIY kayak outriggers I'm really happy with how these turned out I'm sorry for the incredible delay I'm um, coming out with these videos but uh, yeah let's get right to it Ooh. One thing I want to mention is if you want to see any footage of me actually using these outriggers on the water, I'm going to link two videos that I specifically was standing and fishing in my kayak using these outriggers so you guys can kind of get an idea of how I can fish with them and I can set the hook, land fish, everything with these outriggers down when I'm on the water. And in total, they cost me less than $35 to make. So yeah, just, just wanted to throw that little nugget out there for you guys. All right, let's get into it. Basically, you just screw it open like that. A little difficult with one hand here, so apologies, folks. And then you just fold it down right to there. And that's the reason I went with flagpole holders, because I wanted these to be adjustable. I wanted to be able to fold them up when I'm not using them, because they do create some drag. I will note that. When these are down on the water, they do create some drag. So when I'm not using them or when I'm making a big cross across the lake, I just fold them up, re-screw that wing nut down on that flagpole holder, and then uh, get back to what I'm trying to do. The flagpole holder is attached by four bolts running through the top, going down into the kayak itself. So you just open up these bungees here. I'm just gonna show you guys what's going on underneath here. You guys can see right here is where the flagpole holder comes through. This is some old aluminum stock we had laying around actually, and uh, that's what we used as the bracket for underneath the flagpole holder. I will note, if you guys do not have some spare aluminum stock sitting around, you don't really need to use those. What I would also recommend you guys using is some fender washers. That's something you guys could use instead of the aluminum stock. We just happened to use it because we had it. Trying to make things simple on our end. Obviously not everyone has that kind of stuff laying around. But from here on, let's move on. Hello there. You decided to join the, join the video, huh? All right, so going on to the shaft or the length that actually runs up it right here we have the three quarter inch schedule 40 pvc and running up the center of it right there you guys can kind of see in the center there is what is called a dowel rod and if you do know what that is then i don't really need to explain it to you but if you don't i'm going to pop up an image right here for about two seconds just showing you what that is because obviously it's encased in here at the moment basically what we had to do to make this whole build come together is we have dowel rod running from all the way up to the T, all the way to about half an inch above the base. And the reason we did that was just to give this some extra rigidity. Obviously it's gonna be having pressure from me standing and being on the kayak and fishing out of it and things like that. So that's the reason we have the dowel rod running through here. From there you get to the top and you will see that we have this threaded adapter right here. So it threads into this T and this is a three quarter inch threaded adapter as well. All right, so moving on to how we actually filled these two liter bottles with the expanding foam. I'm just gonna tell you the quick process of how we did that. First thing we did was we pre-sized everything up with the tee, with the two bottles and everything. And we cut the dowel rod to length in order so that once it comes time to fill these things up with foam, we could do it all seamlessly and fast and everything would come together like it should. What we did first was we filled up one of these bottles with the expanding foam. Then we took our dowel rod and shoved it down in there. So you can picture you have your two liter bottle and now you have this dowel rod just sticking up out of it, right? Next thing you had to do was slide this T down over it because you can't put this end on before you put the T on. So you slide the T down over the dowel rod, leaving just this and up exposed of the dowel rod. The final step to assembling these was you fill the other bottle with the expanding foam. While it's still setting, shove it onto here and then silicone in the ends right here in order to sure up the seal and make sure everything's going to stay together let me tell you guys these are rock solid and they have been rock like 
they have been that rock solid for the three and a half plus years that I've been using them. Nothing has opened up or stopped working at all. The only other a little addition I will tell you guys about is on the base here, it's very hard to tell, but there's a little taper towards the end. We did have to grind the end down just a bit on this three quarter inch PVC in order to fit into the flag holder that I showed you guys. Just a hair, and if you guys don't have a grinding wheel handy like we do here, you guys can also just use a sander, or if you wanna take a little bit more time, or don't have the option, sandpaper, you know, if you rub it with a really hard grit, can take that down for you. It's just gonna take you a little bit more time. This is all doable without pretty much power tools, I guess you could say. We just had some power tools that made it a little bit easier for us. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. That has been a super, super long overdue video for me to do. Just talking about how I made these outriggers a long time ago and just how freaking awesome they have been to me since then. In total, this whole build costs like $35, depending on the vendors you go through. You need to buy two flagpole holders. We had some aluminum stock hanging around, so that's what we were able to use. If you don't have that, you need to get yourself some fender washers. Those are gonna run you maybe five, six bucks, depending on the quality you get. If you go stainless, non, things like that. You also need some old two liter bottles, which we did actually have to go out and buy two liter bottles that day and poured out two of them just to make this happen. Next thing you need is you need two T's right there. Two, three quarter, uh, threaded adapters and then you need about we bought a 10 foot stick of uh, three quarter inch PVC to make this all happen Like I said the whole thing came together for under $35 The only other thing we had to get was that dowel rod in the expanding foam and that's it I already had the black paint hanging around. I just like painting things black when they get finished I don't know. It's just kind of my style with that being said guys I really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy the video Please do me a favor and leave a like for me working real hard trying to bring you guys some better quality videos lately and uh, I think it's kind of showing and I'm seeing some real support and feedback lately so just want to say thank you for that it is not going unnoticed we're cruising on towards 2,000 subscribers at the moment that is the goal right now super super excited to get back in the water and start sharing some actual on the water kayak fishing with you guys I appreciate the support so far if you haven't already subscribe to the channel leave a like for me drop a comment below about what you thought about these DIY kayak outriggers. Thanks for watching guys and as always keep water hopping and I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah,